I'd say this has a little bit of sustain. <laughs> well, here we are for our review of my new Pono tenor ukulele, the MTD SP. It's the ma mahogany back and sides, Honduran mahogany back and sides, spruce top. Well, this has been, um, I've had this a couple weeks now, and as you heard, I hope you could hear it like I could, this thing's got volume, it's got a uh, great sustain, and is just um, plays fantastically up and down the neck. I'll be honest with you, though, it has taken me a little bit of time to get this Pono uh, strung up. I did not like the strings that came on it. I didn't wasn't in love with the low G they put on it. Uh, and of course, strings are very subjective. I mean, we all have our favorites and not, you know. Uh, this is probably my fourth set of strings. These are worth clears. And I have never used the Worth Clear before. I've used the Worth Browns all the time, but uh, with a low G. And when I put these on, I was blown out. I had Oasis uh, Brights on it uh, with a high G, and then went to this and was just totally blown away. I'm just gonna take a second. I've had a little bit of problem. Everything's, the low G is right where it should be. Loud, full, sustained, as you can hear. Really, really nice. So uh, I'm finally to that place where I'm really happy and satisfied with the way this plays, the way that it sounds. And I want to take you through this uh, ukulele. You can go to the unboxing video and get a little bit of history on me and Engelman and uh, Honduran mahogany, but uh, take a look at this. Engelman spruce top. Now, I don't know if that's going to show up, but there is cross silking this way horizontally all through the top it's just fantastic it's beautiful just beautiful so um engelman little rope rosette there which i love very tasteful i'm not a blingy guy ebony bridge bone saddle ebony fingerboard the small dots. Uh, personally, I'm not a dot person. I, I don't use these at all. I would prefer, if I ever have a custom you built, would, uh, I wouldn't uh, have dots on the front. In fact, I had one built, uh, a flea concert built. I had them add the side dots, but took the, the top dots off. So they're useless for me, but I like the fact that these are small. They're not these big honkers, so. Honkers is a uh, technical term. Uh, bone nut, beautiful ebony faceplate, pearl yeah, pono there. These are uh, Grovers, I believe. Really smooth, really, really smooth tuners. Ebony buttons. Have the gold uh, strap pins, of course, installed, and then you've got the Honduran mahogany back and sides. Notice this um, rosewood binding on the top. Can you see that? Uh, that looks a little better. Now, um, this is the deluxe. It has a radius fingerboard. Now the radius fingerboard is slight. Uh, if you play any kind of instrument that's strung, uh, especially if you play guitar, most guitars, except for classicals, 
uh, electric guitars especially and, and acoustics like a Taylor etc will have a radius that means it's not completely flat a little bit of a curve there uh, this is very slight uh, but it does help especially with bar chords so all in all I would say for I don't know, a little 560 I think it was I think I ended up spending about $650 with Hawaii Music Supply, the ukulele site, because I bought this, had a, a, a strap pins installed, had the low G, and bought the Oahu uh, Archtop hard shell case to have it shipped. All in all, about $650, I would say. Um, ebony fingerboard, of course, and it's just... just um, Little touches like the, the cap. I mean, it's just, it's really nice. I, I, I find a couple of things with Pono. I find that the, you're, as a rule, they tend to be slightly heavier. When I say heavy, I mean in ounces. So holding two tenors or two concerts these are going to be slightly heavier. Um, most people wouldn't even notice it, but I've played so many ukes that I, I do. The second thing is, to me, they take a little bit longer to break in. I will add, on this particular ukulele, the strings made a world of difference. I did a low G worth browns on it. I did the Oasis Brights with a high G, the ones that originally came with. And then I thought, you know, I have never tried worth clears. I've, I've um, tried, obviously, the, the worth browns, high G and low G. So it's, it's obviously still brand new. And... The strings are stretching, especially the low G. It's unwound. And when you strum it, what I love about ukulele, and when I find one that is really nicely built and put together with good wood, when I strum certain chords, I can hear inside that chord reverberating almost like an orchestra and different chords I don't know if you can hear that but it's wow 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 it's fantastic so I played HG Sweet there um, I like to play uh, the beginning of Christmas time is here on my ukes because down in this area many times is where you'll find a dead note or a wolf note. It's, it's um, not necessarily clear, a little muffled. Now listen to those. Are you listening to that sustain? Nothing dead there. playing that it's you, you can just hear the ringing inside the sound hole and if, if I had a sound port here I would be able to hear that much better I hope you can hear that anyway Pono MTD SP Engelman spruce top Honduran mahogany this is the same wood combination I had on my tailor for years when I led worship and uh, it's like a mini version 
but it sounds fantastic. And um, Ukulele Site has one in stock right now. And um, I think I shared in the unboxing video, they had also a satin version with the radius, not the Honduran, and a satin finish for like 450 or something. So. <laughs> Just plays, sounds great. I hope you like it. I do. And uh, next week, a week from today, is the Allegheny Uke Soray in Altoona, Pennsylvania. So the question is, and my question to you, and my question to me is, I bought this for that. Will I end up bringing this to that? Or will it be a soprano or a concert or who knows? Maybe, maybe this one back here. That's the new Anui Nui. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. And I hope you're checking out the Practice Makes Perfect series. Good response on that. And will you do me a favor? Would you please, if you like this video, would you hit the like button? And would you subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. And one of the things that not a lot of YouTubers talk about is sharing. You can share this video, just the share or the copy link. You can go to Facebook, you can go to Twitter. You might have 10,000 followers on Twitter. And maybe a lot of them are musicians. You could share this on Twitter and really help me out. So anyway, um, hope you have a great day, enjoy. And again, if you are coming to the Allegheny Ukes Array and I'm hanging out there, which God willing I will be, come say hi. I'd appreciate it. I'd like to meet you. Bye-bye.